Woo, hey everyone, this is Daryl from Daily Crypto Chasing. It's coming to you live, live from from everywhere, guys. It's a great time to be live, and we're going to be talking about there is a huge liquidity problem happening right now for Bitcoin. And, you know, we could be seeing Dogecoin getting to $1 very shortly, guys. And we're going to be talking about a little bit about X payments. We're going to be talking about tons of stuff that's going, what's going on. Uh, also, some people are saying that we could hit 100,000, 150,000 before the halving, guys. So if that happens, uh, you know, of course, Dogecoin is going to go up. The other thing we need to talk about as well is that, uh, you know, the ETFs are still fueling the crypto fire like never before uh we're above seventy one thousand dollars right now uh we've had the cpi data was came in uh you know worse than expected uh but the the broader markets recovered uh crypto has not recovered of course uh usually crypto crypto lags behind the, the you know the broader markets a little bit so we're going to jump into all of that and how that's going to affect you today uh in the world of crypto guys so bonk bonk on the head to all the freaking debbie downers out there guys uh get a life if you don't have one and if you do have a life enjoy it be freaking awesome be freaking amazing uh yeah don't don't let things get you down even even though things uh sometimes can be like poop or schmatter try to be positive out there try to be as much a positive as possible uh every problem has a solution and time heals all wounds guys so and sometimes change is good sometimes you've just got to change and you've got to do something new uh and and just move on life moves on guys so let's jump into content without any further delay hey, hey, hey. remember now this is financial advice don't forget to go down there smash the likes show some support we've got a dogecoin tippy jar down there as well follow the link down there and uh send some dogecoin Send some those going. Show some love. Uh, don't be a cheapskate. Show some love out there. Uh, go back and watch all my other videos, guys and gals. So we did see that the broader markets uh, yesterday were up surprisingly. Even though the CPI data did come in uh, worse than expected, consumer prices rose 0.4% in February uh, and 3.2% from a year ago. Now, I kind of don't believe that the prices uh, have gone up 3.2% only. I mean, in some areas, yes. But if we take a look at you know the price of groceries, the price of going to a restaurant, there's no way. There's no freaking way. It's only up 3.2%. So I kind of don't believe any of this anyways. Uh, so that's kind of my thinking because, you know, uh, Time for some Joe. There's no, there's no go without, without a Joe out there. Mm, mm. Now, yeah, there's no go without a Joe. I just don't believe it. So I don't think this is a, a relatively good indicator out there, uh, guys and gals. Uh, we're going to get into some of the uh, crypto news and all that kind of stuff, guys. Don't forget uh, Dogecoin. Uh, Dogecoin breaking out as you read this reply to get it trending. Let's break uh, 19 cents tonight. Uh, yeah, when it comes to Dogecoin... 18 cents is very key. This is from Tesla Model Doge. Uh, I think Dogecoin is going to meander for a while, but we're going to jump into that. We're, we'll hold the phone. Hold the phone. Hold the phone. We got some Dogecoin news. Let's 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 get the the, the basics out of the way. Uh, nothing really happening. We got jobless claims, core PPI happening uh, on the 14th. Uh, today is kind of like not nothing scheduled. Debbie Downer out there. Uh, overall, the crypto markets. Uh, yeah, everything is kind of down, but it's not down. D D D D down down. Bonk, bonk, on the head, we are seeing that BTC is down, everything's down. Tron, ton, 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 ton is still pumping out there, uh, but it's kind of a mixed bag day. It's kind of like just, you know, near protocols up 21%, injections up, runes up. Uh, but we're seeing that most of the most of the uh, Mimi, Mimi coins are down as well. So don't worry about it. We're still seeing that there's extreme greed. So we're still greedy, guys. We're still greedy uh, out there. Let's take a look at what's going on with the crypto. With the crypto, crypto right now, we're at 2.72 trillion. Not too shabby. Uh, we're seeing that Bitcoin is slightly down, but we're above 60, 72 thousand dollars, guys. So you know, remember our previous all-time high was 69 thousand and some change. We're above uh, the last cycle's all-time high now. So. Yeah, and what's really fueling, fueling this is ETFs, guys. So uh, Ethereum is above 4K, not too shabby. BNB uh, is at $536. Solana is still okay. Uh, it's up 23% for the week. XRP is down, but 69 cents. Uh, who doesn't like 69, right? Hey, 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 PG-13, OG. Uh, and we're seeing Cardano is uh, getting closer to a buck. I think, I think Cardano will probably break a buck probably by the end of the month. That's what I'm thinking. Avalanche. Now, Dogecoin is... Uh, in case you guys didn't notice, uh, Dogecoin is in the uh, top nine spot out there. So not too shabby, not too shabby. But we're down 3.29% out there. I think tomorrow we're we're going to rip and roar 
Uh, the crypto is going to be really good uh, tomorrow. Uh, and keep in mind that you know because of the CPI data, we did have uh, we did have a little bit of a Hunter Wick action happening. So you can see here that you know overall we have this uh, you know opening funnel pattern. And I think that uh, Bitcoin is just going to keep trending upwards and upwards and upwards, guys. So uh, we had uh, we had uh, 72,608, which is all time high. Then we had uh, so this is this is kind of where we want to be. This is kind of the previous all time high here. So we're going to get we're going to get that. We're, we're just slightly under. So uh, Bitcoin is performing. OK, 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 OK. Now, if you take a look at the uh, purple highlights, my estimate base of flows, we're still seeing a lot of a lot of activity for uh, ETS. We're still seeing a lot of uh, money coming into ETS. And that's why we're going to have a, a liquidity crisis for uh, Bitcoin soon, because there's not going to be enough Bitcoin uh, for people to buy, particularly the ETF holders. And you guys can see right now that the ETFs uh, constitute uh, almost $70 billion, and that's 4.655% of all of the uh, Bitcoin ever mined. So there's going to be a, a, there's going to be a liquidity crunch in terms of people are going to want you know the ETFs are gobbling up more Bitcoin, and there's not going to be much more to go around. And this is going to push the price higher and higher. And that is why, that is why Bitcoin is headed for 150k, says Bernstein. So Alan Bernstein says it's still early days yet, but we could easily see 150 thousand dollars coming in. And he's saying the firm predicted last year that it would hit 150 by 2025. Now it believes it's going to be hitting that milestone is even more likely, more likely. And I think it, we, we could see it sometime in September. That's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm thinking. Uh, yeah, look at new uh, Bitcoin ETFs purchased nearly 420,000 Bitcoin worth 30 billion in just 41 trading days. Like that melts your face. Uh, just in BlackRock, Bitcoin Hill is now worth 14.76 billion, guys. Wow, 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 wow. So it's insane, guys. Look at Bitcoin. Q1 up almost 70%. Q, uh, Q1 for Ethereum up uh, uh, almost 74%. So we're doing pretty good. If we take a look at the, if we take a look at the monthly returns right now uh, for Bitcoin, March is, March is, we're still doing good, guys. So even if we get some downside, uh, we might even see a little bit of correction, but it's okay. Uh, Bitcoin is, uh, market cap is worth more than silver. That's positive. Now, I think this is worth worth reading. Let me get my face out of there. Now, Mr. Matthew Hayward, Bitcoin has completed the highest daily candle here, the highest daily candle here, uh, close ever, and completes its first daily close above the previous cycle, all-time high. So that's pretty good. Six, 6942 was the previous um, all-time high. Uh, 77,000 is the next target. I think we're going to hit 77,000. Pretty sure. Pretty sure. 69,420 now serves as a major support. So remember, the previous all-time high, the previous all-time high is now freaking support, guys. So that is that is amazing, guys. So it's things are looking very, very positive. Very, very positive overall. Now, interestingly, over the past two weeks, we've seen that Bitcoin has repeatedly extended uh, extended its now 72,700 all-time high. Small wallets with less than 0.1 Bitcoin have continued to increase. And it's they've gone up. The wallets have gone up about 277K more than uh, normal. And that means that, you know, retail investors are starting to FOMO in. But however, we're seeing a large wallets with uh, 1,000 Bitcoin or more have been selling, okay? So the smart money is selling. Uh, they're selling at the top and they're gonna buy back in, right? So they're dollar cost averaging, but we're seeing the FOMO starting. So that's also gonna help push the price. Now, Debbie Downer, JP Morgan, bonk, bonk on your head, Debbie Downer uh, says, Remember he was he, he remember he was at Davos and he said that Bitcoin is a piece of crap. Uh, now they're one of the custodians custodians for ETFs, right? And now he's saying that I defend your right to smoke cigarette and defend your right to buy Bitcoin. So this guy will say whatever it wants uh, to make money. So also, if you take a look at what Willie Wu is saying, the daily inflows of capital being stored by the Bitcoin network just hit two billion per day. That's the level we hit uh, in the last full blown uh, bull run. This time it could climb much higher. Spot T ETFs are opening up the inflow pipes uh, markedly. So remember, this cycle, in previous cycles, we never had the Bitcoin spot ETFs, and that's why I think 100K is coming in before the having guys. Now keep in mind, don't be don't be alarmed, don't be an alarmist, don't be crazy if we see a 20 to 30 percent correction, guys. It could happen. It could happen before the before the halving, uh, and then what that's going to do is reset Bitcoin, and we're going to pump, 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 pump. pump. Bitcoin is still uh, following this funnel pattern, looking pretty good. Ethereum is also okay. It's just above this uh, resistance at four thousand uh, bucks. So hopefully it can stay there. Now let's take a look at the Doge. Doge, Doge is just 
Doge is coiling up, has lots of pressure right now, kind of a bull flag. Uh, I, I think that we're going to blow past uh, 18 cents. That's our resistance. 20 cents is definitely incoming for Doge. I'm feeling positive about that. I'm feeling positive. positive. Even though the, the volumes are down, the market cap is down, I'm still thinking that the Dogecoin is kind of coiling up and we're going to uh, you know, start pumping. Dogecoin price prediction, Doge becomes the top 10 crypto in the world. Again, Doge, uh, $1 possible this month. Well, this article is kind of coming out and uh, it's a bit of a headline, right? Uh, so, you know, 16.8, uh, you know, bank, we have, are up between 218% in the last 30 days. Uh, but the market cap, the market cap are still well below Doge, guys. Dogecoin price picks on $1 possible this month. Well, in the past few days, Doge, price, Doge has been raging between like 15 and, and uh, almost 19 cents. Uh, indeed, as Bitcoin is above 70,000, we know the Dogecoin price uh, risk remains uh, tilted to the upside. So I still think there's a lot of upside out there as a $1 Doge price uh, might seem far-fetched, but it, a closer look at the numbers shows it is possible, guys. It's, it's, it's freaking possible, guys. So you can see here that it is it is not impossible to get up there. Uh, it's worth bearing in mind that Dogecoin hits uh, 0.76 in 2021 its market cap. At the time of hitting, it was 85 billion. Okay, uh, it's also worth worth remembering that amid the meme coin hype, Dogecoin remains undisputed king. I remember back in 2021, Bitcoin went from 17 cents to 45 cents in 24 hours. So nothing is impossible, guys. Nothing is freaking impossible for the Doge Wars guy out there. So guys, uh, X payments are going to be coming this summer. I think it's going to be a huge catalyst. This is going to push the Doge up, it up, up, guys. Uh, good news, Doge has just closed its highest daily candle. So not too shabby, not too shabby. Guys, go back and watch all my other videos. I would appreciate it. I would appreciate it. Uh, also, too, guys, get on and follow me on Twitter, to Twitter, Twitter, to Twitter, Twitter. I think we got uh, 12,355 uh, followers, guys. So that's kind of that's kind of all I got. So be well, be blessed. I'll see you in the freaking next one. Peace out.